Hello everyone. Today I will explain our work and the title of our paper is Learning Monocular Face Reconstruction from in the Wild Images Using Rotation Cycle Consistency. I will explain it to you in four parts. Starting with the first part. Background. In recent years, three-dimensional face reconstruction technology has developed rapidly, on the one hand, because of the two-dimensional image information. The identity information it contains is less comprehensive than that of 3D data. On the other hand, 3D face reconstruction also has a wide range of practical applications and has good prospects in face recognition, games and entertainment, and movie animation. At present, 3D face data in practical applications still have inconvenient acquisition, data considering the universality and convenience of 2D image acquisition. A 3D reconstruction based on 2D face images and 3D face data construction is a worthy direction to explore. Then comes our second part. Before we dive in, we need to know that research methods of 3D face reconstruction can be divided based on multiple images and based on single images. The 3D face reconstruction based on multiple images can obtain information from multiple angles of the face and has better accuracy and robustness. While the single image based reconstruction method is more convenient, fast, easy to implement, and therefore has a broader prospect. At the same time, it also faces many challenges. Specifically, it is reflected in the following areas. 1. When using multiple images for 3D face reconstruction. The shape information of the face can be obtained from different viewpoints, while when using single image reconstruction, the 3D information of the face can only be extracted from one viewpoint. So it is much more difficult than multiple images. Two. The depth information of facial features can be estimated by triangulation when using multiple images for 3D face reconstruction. While the solution space is large when using single images for 3D face reconstruction, which is an ill-posed problem, so it is difficult to learn the depth information of the face accurately. 3. When the 3D face reconstruction is based on a single image, the solution set of the face has multiplicity due to projection. So the algorithm needs a priori knowledge to assist it to obtain the metric reconstruction. Despite the many difficulties, a large number of algorithms have been developed in the field of single image based 3D face reconstruction, and in the figure. We give the representative algorithms at each time point in chronological order. 3DMM is a generic 3D face model that represents faces with a fixed number of points. It is presented greatly reduces the complexity of face reconstruction. And the face can be quickly reconstructed with good results in most cases. However, because the 3DMM model parameter space is a relatively low dimensional parameter space and the texture model is too simple, PCA can only extract limited 3D information. So the reconstructed results are too average and lack detail. In recent years, deep learning has achieved impressive results in computer vision and other fields, and a large amount of research work in this field has emerged in 3D face reconstruction work. Making 3D face reconstruction based on deep learning a hot research direction at present. Traditional methods require solving the correlation coefficient optimally. While deep learning based methods can use the model to regress the correlation coefficient directly. Take 3DMMCNN as an example, it is a very simple regression model. It uses the ResNet 101 network to directly regress the shape coefficients and texture coefficients of 3DMM. For fully supervised algorithms, the complexity of model reconstruction is reduced if the training data have accurate labeling information. 
however, the cost of acquiring real datasets is very high. And researchers often base their research on a small amount of data or simulated data, and the generalization ability of the trained models will be limited. And self-supervised methods are an important idea to solve this problem. This class of methods does not rely on real paired datasets. It reconstructs the 2D image into 3D and then back projects it back to the 2D image. This class of methods is represented by MOFA. Due to the scarcity of real 3D face data, many previous approaches resort to synthetic data or use 3D shapes fitted by traditional methods as alternative shape labels. However, the accuracy of synthetic data may be degraded due to the effects of incomplete training labels. To circumvent these problems, some researchers have proposed methods to train network models without face shape labels in an unsupervised or weakly supervised manner with encouraging results. Deep3D proposes a new shape confidence. Learning method for multi-image face reconstruction aggregation with weakly supervised learning using blended image information. Although Deep3D performs well, it requires a multi-view face dataset for training. This is not applicable to some, in the wild, scenarios. Unsup3D proposes to model the face using its weak symmetry and decompose the input face image into 3D information by self-encoder for unsupervised learning. This method does not require multi-view data and can work effectively on, in the wild, images. However, without reliable 3DMM prior, they tend to suffer from ambiguity of image appearance. We believe that unsupervised a priori face reconstruction has greater challenges and broader application scenarios, for which we propose our approach. To solve this problem, we focus on multi-view geometric consistency. Compared with single-view methods, multi-views are inherently correlated and complementary. Our method builds on recent reconstruction methods, for example, unsup3D, we follow the decoder to encoder structure, decomposing the input image into four main factors, depth, albedo, illumination, and viewpoint. To solve this ill-posed problem effectively, we propose to use the rotation cycle consistency of multiple views under the assumption of weak symmetry. Specifically, when the model renders the comparison image through a differentiable renderer, a new view is generated by using a pre-trained GAN network generator for the rendered image with a new viewpoint. Both are optimized by rotational consistency loss, and then reconstruction loss optimization is performed, and finally, the 3D face modeling of the object is performed based on the resulting optimized four factors. The specific process is shown in figure. In this way, we implicitly add multi-view consistency. And with these multi-view supervised losses, we can accomplish accurate 3D face modeling of the input image in an unsupervised manner, and well solve the 2D ambiguity issue for a single view. Rotation consistency is often used to implement methods to rotate the surface of a two-dimensional image to a new image, and cycle consistency has been widely used to extract image properties. In our approach, we combine the two by taking the latent factors from the input images through the network phi and rendering them from a new viewpoint delta w. We again predict potential factors for these rendered intermediate images delta i, but this time render them using the source viewpoint w parameter. The rendered intermediate images must pass the recognition of the U-net discriminator in order for them to look realistic. After a cycle of 2D feature loss, the input image is used to optimize the final image so that the two are as similar as possible. For the intermediate image increment i, we don't need to render him from the rendering domain to the real domain. We just need to distinguish between true and false images at the global level and at the individual pixel level, which is sufficient for me. For this purpose, 
We train a UNet discriminator. The gone loss is penalized if the rendered new image is unrealistic in appearance and detail. And the cyclic consistency loss regularizes the network to produce a new image that is more consistent with the original. The 2D feature loss function between the rendered and real images is shown in FIG. The parameters are reconstruction loss, perception loss, landmark loss, and identity consistency loss, respectively. The reconstruction loss ensures that the result is consistent with the target and the perceptual loss is used to alleviate the problem that the reconstruction loss is sensitive to small geometric defects. Landmark loss is used to better restore the face details. And the identity consistency loss is used to preserve the identity information of the reconstruction result. Next we will show the results of our experiments. In this figure, we show the results of the face reconstruction by this experimental method on the dataset Celeb A. We show the partial output of the model and partial view imaging of the reconstructed 3D face model. It can be seen that the reconstructed 3D face model can reproduce some details such as nose, eyes, and mouth corners very well, and it can also model some images with high fidelity for large viewing angles and images with noise. As shown in the table, the first two rows show that our method outperforms the baseline UNSUP 3D in the comparison of the evaluation metric data. The third four rows show that each component of our method plays a role in the final information prediction results. It can be seen that with the use of rotation cycle consistency, our experimental results will be greatly optimized. And it can be demonstrated that rotation cycle consistency contributes significantly to improving the accuracy of reconstructing 3D face models in a single view. Compared to UNSUP 3D, our proposed method has different degrees of improvement in the results. In the remaining part of the table, we use the 3DFAW dataset to examine the quality of the depth reconstruction obtained by our method. Where we sample the predicted depths using 2D keypoint locations and calculate the predicted depth correlation scores. It can be seen that our method has outperformed some methods that use supervised signals, for example, AIGN, and far outperformed some methods that use a priori models, for example, MOFA. Although our method is less effective than methods using fully supervised as well as partially supervised signals, for example, depth net gone, our method performs better in comparison to UNSUP 3D. In this figure, we give the effect of the specific ablation study. As shown in the figure, without rotation cycle consistency. The network itself is still trained from a single view image set and does not have the constraint of multiple views, so the depth and albedo of network learning still have ill-posed problems. In addition, without 2D feature loss, there are errors in predicting information about detailed parts of the face, for example, eyebrows, corners of the mouth, eyes, etc. In contrast, our full method performs better for predicting 3D information from the input image. In this figure, we use our experimental results and compare them visually with other existing unsupervised methods. To create a side-by-side -side comparison, we compare our results with the examples shown in the paper. It can be seen that the quality of our method's reconstruction is higher than theirs. Among them, LAE generates poor 3D shapes and the texture information is not accurate enough. And Sabo et al. generates unnatural shapes and shows poorly from the side. For UNSUP 3D, we are more realistic about the detail reproduction. That's all we have to show today. Thank you for your attention.